Hello, good morning everyone. Let me see who's around. Ooh, okay. Yeah, are 14 of you here? A combination of uh, international and local student. Asma Warni. Oh, Asma Warni. You're going for your uh, revival, I think. Have you completed? Any one of you have, um, before we start, yes, yeah, <laughs> you're going for your revival, correct? Asma Warni. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Uh... Xiao Li. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Smawani Suda, have you got any publish, publication uh, published? Any of your paper published? Ada tak? Not yet. Why not yet? <clears throat> okay, we have Wana. Wana have uh, one Scopus Q1. Journal. Am I correct, Wana? Uh, Scopus, doctor. Tapi dah tahu. Q berapa? <laughs> Scopus lah batu. Kalau Q di Scopus. Q1 kah, Q2 kah, Q2. Ya, masa masa tu Q3 kah? Masa kami pantar tu. Hmm, okay, that's good. Ya, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Another one, Q1 terus. Hmm. Hi, Dr. Janice. Dr. Janice is here. Associate Professor Dr. Jan Janice Nga. Hi, we meet again, doctor. Hi. We have two sessions this morning. Uh, Dr. Janice was the chairperson. I am. I was the examiner this morning. And now um, I'm the MC, Latalikan, what they call the MC. And uh, we are so blessed today yeah, to have uh, Dr. Janice, associate professor. Dr. Janice Nga uh, for our talk today on publication requirement for graduation. The finish line is in sight. Yeah, um, I am very glad, gladful and grateful that Dr. Uh, Associate Professor Dr. Janice um, joined us today because I've been like uh, postponing on this talk for so many times already because um, uh, the avail availability of lecturers, uh, um, they are not that free because of uh, classes and things. But I know this topic is very, very crucial for the postgraduate students, especially those who are doing uh, by research, yeah, masters of PhD. Okay, so before we start, let I have a brief uh, introduction. Not so brief, I think, because I have like three pages of um, uh, uh, introduction of uh, Professor, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Janice, yeah. Yeah, so uh, can you hear me, doctor? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So let me have a brief, uh, uh, let me have a brief interruption for to uh, to the audience. Yeah, uh, Dr. Nga, okay, Dr. Nga is an associate professor of planning and development economics at the Faculty of Business, Economics, and Accountancy in UMS. She is the first candidate to complete the integrated PhD or PhD plus from the Department of East Asian Studies, University of Leeds, UK. Um, as, you, as we all know, she has been appointed several times as the ISDR Conference International Academic Committee, uh, conferences cha conference chair. Yeah, she plays in significant roles at all levels, internationally and domestically. She also an advisor and resource person of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Sabah and um, many others. She is the managing director for the Girl Guide Association, Association Malaysia and also the editorial board for Journal of Youth Economy Malaysia, Malaysian Journal of Youth Studies and reviewers for various journals. So that's why she is uh, um, the right a person to talk about uh, on this uh, publication, uh, what types of journals and things like that. Yeah, um, I would like also to uh, 
apa namanya uh, introduce that um, she is also a uh, Her latest publication include COVID-19 pandemic and unemployment in Malaysia, a case study from Sabah on July 2021 in reputable journal Cosmopolitan Civil Societies. Yeah, so yeah, dalam in 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 walaupun busy, Dr. Jenny still managed to publish in um, um, international journal, become chair, become uh, winning award, uh, won an award recently. Yeah. So without further ado, uh, let me introduce. So let let us. Uh, I pass the session to you, Associate Professor Dr. Janis. Thank you. Thank you, the Dr. Janti, for the kind uh, introduction. Yeah. Um, all right. So let me uh, share the screen. So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for uh, spare some time to come to attend this. Uh, 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 sharing, okay. Uh, as it is, uh, I will always uh, speak from my heart, and uh, I hope uh, that will benefit uh, everybody, and uh, we learn from each other. I would say, okay. So if there is any uh, thing um, uh, that you would like to ask, I'm happy to take the. Uh, Questions. I will try my best to give my opinion and views and answer. Um, of course, you will have your own judgment whether uh, to accept that or not. Okay, so it's very important that uh, we agree to disagree. Okay. All right. So yes. So yeah. Thank you very much uh, to the postgraduate session. Uh, to you know, uh, offer me a platform to share. Now, uh, there have been many sessions being shared on publications, things like that. So I browse through some of them and I try to say what have not yet been said, okay? Right. So your publications, um, I put a chat there so I can see if anyone have any. Questions for me, right? Right. right. So um, the title being given is uh, publications, uh, the requirement uh, for graduation. I understand that uh, all of you here are going to be finishing your. Uh, I mean, at some point you need to finish; otherwise, you will be. Uh, Great Britain is an Gaga and Libandika. So I hope I wish everyone will make it to the final. Okay. So uh, the title given is a uh, publication requirement uh, for graduation. The finish line is in sight. So I think a very interesting uh, title. And uh, this is they not only giving uh, the Yanti is so good, you know, so caring and. Uh, of you guys and not only giving this uh, title she also gave me this okay uh, so i say from the desk of the boss the task given to me uh, so i just cut and paste so that's why this is exactly what dr zanti's uh, word uh, from the email apa itu publication apa itu in that journal peer review journal my site scopus macam mana nak cari uh, so this is really wrong. Uh, but uh, I do think uh, uh, in Sabani, uh, I do think there are some issues that related to this that I think you as a postgraduate students may want to know and learn. And maybe some of your postgraduate uh, lecturers or supervisors are here, I'm not sure. Okay, so not from the desk of, uh, of the boss. Lah. So, uh, so I would like to touch and face on a few uh, controversial issues. Okay, I always encourage students when you have uh, problems, face it, not Facebook it. So I know some of these are quite sensitive issues, especially in the academia world, but uh, still we need to uh, face it. Dr. Zanti, how many, how much time that I should speak and? Uh, we have um, one and a half hour, doctor. All right. So um, how long you expect me to speak and 
um, the Q and A how long? So, uh, the uh, the Q and A. Can we take the Q and A as we go along the session, or you want to let leave it? Uh, whichever, under? whichever is alright. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have that one and a half hours, lah. Yeah. Okay. So uh yeah. So uh. There are many controversial issues actually in publication or no now, but for today I will just go for three. Yeah, the color three saja tak boleh banyak banyak. Okay, so first and foremost, this is some picture for you to dive into. Okay, uh, it may looks funny, but there are some truth in it. Okay. And publication to some point, to some extent, it has become an industry, okay? Like you're not. Um, yeah, although I don't look too old, but actually I'm not too young either, okay? So when I was studying uh, my undergrad, uh, we have very limited, uh, that time internet is just like started in, uh, you know, uh, campus and most of the journal are still uh, printed copy those time. Okay, um, so very important uh, for us to visit the library, uh, to go to the library in person, you know, uh, to check on the uh, journal and so on. Okay, so the publication that time, of course, there are limited journal, you pay if your university pay for that journal, then you have access to it and so on, right? Otherwise, you, you can't. This day is more wide uh, spread and uh, things like that, uh, which is more convenient for students. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, there are pros and cons. To some extent, it's too much for the student and you may not know where to start with, okay? So, um, the rules is, just do it, okay? Like Nike, yeah? just do it, just start it, okay? Right, so here, that is uh, evolution of academia on the left side, publish, okay? Then you come to publish or perish, you know? You don't publish, you die, lah, okay? Uh, publish in high impact journals or perish, okay? Then publish frequently in high impact journals and maybe you won't uh, perish, okay? So you can see, it is uh, published or perish, and he hasn't published, so all the guns are ready to uh, fire, okay? Uh, look at this, although it's funny, okay? Carl Jones, PhD, unpublished, so it's also unfunded too, okay? So sometimes there are issues related also. I know some of the students also having issues like uh, you want to publish in good journals, but some good journals these days, as I say, like especially open access and all these things, uh, they will ask for fees, yeah? But I, I, I economist, yeah? so sometimes I very could code, you know, stingy, so I will look for some free, uh, public, uh, no publish uh, publications, uh, uh, fees, uh, that kind. There still exists quite quite a number, but uh, of course, if you can afford, why not, right? All right. So yeah. Okay. So this is what you. I guess you already know. Now, if you haven't or yet to know, okay, uh, maybe you got to drop down somewhere, right? Okay. The minimum publication requirement for postgraduate study in UMS. Yeah? So this is applicable for students who register after semester two, uh, 2020, 2021. Okay. Uh, for those students who are before semester two, 2020 and 2021, uh, that is uh, different. So you can see also over time, you have more and more things to add. Huh? <laughs> Okay, so maybe after 2025, you may have more five things here. I do not know. But to me, okay, publication is really a practice, yeah, practice. I'm not saying that I'm a great uh, person, the best or whatever, but I do have some publication. I'm, I'm still working hard to have more uh, in a more prominent uh, uh, journals and so on and so forth, okay? 
but uh, very important okay for us uh, to keep publishing okay so yeah so anyone here is before semester 2 2020 2021 you will have one article in peer review refer journal and one article in proceeding and then one article in index journal for phd one article in peer review journal and one article in proceeding okay um student who register after semester 2 uh, 2020 2021 uh, is a one article in journal index by my science corpus isi era eh? Uh, that you must show proof that status accepted. Um, and also one oral or poster presentation in any conference. Then you will say, aha, rugi lah for the new student lah kan? Yeah, have to do so many things. But looking positively, the more things you do, the more practice you have, the more benefit you get, right? So actually, ada untung juga tu, okay? You are beneficial, okay? uh benefiting from all the new rules okay so take it positively whatever come we take whatever come we face okay lawan tetap lawan makan okay anyone here cannot understand bahasa melayu to let me know huh? uh huh? yeah doctor there are some uh international students uh joining us today all right so right so i will try to keep it uh, so lawan tetap lawan means fight, continue to fight, keep fighting, ah, huh? okay? Or in Mandarin, uh, like the, you know, the, you never give up, lah, huh? All right. Um, for the PhD who register and uh, after semester two, 2020, 2021, um, is uh, one article in journal index by my site. One in Scopus ISI ERA, um, one in oral presentation in conference. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is the rules that you, you have. So I do not know that the Yanti whether if they have two Scopus, but most of the Scopus will be in my side anyway, right? Okay, so that's fine. Exactly. Yeah, so that, that is the yeah. minimum, bro. Yeah, that is minimum, right? So I'm not sure those who, this one is after semester two, this one is before semester two. So those who register in semester two, 2020, 2021, I suppose yang ini lah kan? Eh? Because one is after, one is before. So yes, correct. You know, that, it doesn't mean that you don't need to do anything, okay? So you are here, okay? You are falling in this uh, column, okay? Don't try to be funny and say, hey, there's no, this one is after, this one is before, so I'm, uh, register during uh, semester 2, 2020, 2020, so I don't fall in any category here. Uh, uh, you are here, okay? Uh, Dr. Zianti already uh, mentioned that, right? So what is publication? Anyone want to tell me what is publication? There are so many types of uh, publication. Okay, I find that uh, Malaysian students are very shy. So I hope, uh, yeah. Anyone want to tell me what is publication? Nobody is going to try? Uh, uh, uh. How you do I don't even know what is publication? Maybe they don't know, Doctor. Yeah, so kasihan. Yeah, oh, maybe. My. Let me try. Okay, so publication basically is you write something, you publish it with somewhere, okay? not that in your own uh, table or something like that okay so these are some of the publication formats okay magazine journal website blogs okay you will say ah blogs also yes yes it's just that the different category different uh, level of uh, publications okay All right books articles okay uh conferences uh, presentations uh, proceedings whatever you call it okay online videos okay uh, documentaries podcasts blogs okay so these are some of the publication formats so what are they exactly yeah uh, uh, in a more academic uh, uh, this one i get it from the scopus uh, side yeah 
there are articles okay article original research or opinion which those articles may be peer review you know why it's peer review okay that means those scholar in the same similar field or in that same uh, aspect okay of uh, research okay uh, they will therefore evaluate the article one article uh, whether is uh, uh, good values worth or um, merely nothing and therefore no, do not deserve to be published in the in their eyes for example okay uh, so if you get rejection okay i think we need to put this uh, how to say uh, mindset eh? very positively okay until today i still get rejection okay it's not like oh you associate professor you won't get rejected no even professor also sometimes get rejected i i you know sometimes conference uh, the conference that i chair before uh, this time we have an international one even abstract got rejected you know uh, so we learn as we go okay so that's why i mentioned at the beginning this is just a sharing session okay we learn together we learn from each other okay i may know a little bit more than you and you may know some secret that i do not know then we can share okay right so an article in peer review so if a journal is not reviewed then there is some problems so you know how could you write when you send to for people for comments there will always always yeah got some comments coming back just like your thesis you feel like so perfect your supervisor happy with it. everybody happy with it but then when you send into the pre -Y -Y, okay no matter how great good work you are the examiner has been tasked to look at your work they will have to okay look carefully using the uh and if I glass okay uh to check what are those possible area to improve so again you see in all things we should have maintain a very positive thinking okay uh, when people comment on our words okay we got to reflect and improve uh, don't become sour and then not happy okay uh, you can be not happy la, but don't be forever not happy unhappy la. Huh? Uh, quickly quickly pick up your emotion and then do it okay uh, start your engine again Jangan mati engine, don't off the engine okay so i know the feeling sometimes you get very nasty comments you know from a reviewer okay it, as if like you are so stupid like that you know i, I you know sometimes it, so you just take it positively you know what no one can no one can destroy you except you alone that allowed people to destroy you okay so that is very important keep going keep going keep trying and there's a word saying that you are never a failure until the day you stop trying have you failed published in let's say if you are targeting q1 for example okay q1 no oh, you're still trying until the days you stop you give or you don't want then you have you fail to achieve the q1 maybe you come to q2 or q3 q4 whatever okay yeah so despite the fact that there are different categories so sometimes the journal also their q their their their, their, their ranking also change over time okay so uh, like myself uh, last year when i published that time the journal that i have is with a q1 uh, cosmopolitan that is a q1 uh, this year recently i see then it's become a q2 for example so these are things that could happen okay so you can uh, check uh uh when when people define q1 q2 go to see which year and all this okay but to me these are some sort of a brand guideline yeah for you to achieve better to work harder to improve yourself 
Okay, so uh, make all these things as part of the encouragement package. Okay, right. So article generally you will have an extract, introduction, materials, methods. I think you are so good and well versed on this, right? Results and then a conclusion, discussion, and references. Now, very often when I review people's work, references will have some uh, issues also. Okay, very often they will get some problem there, but I'm not uh, too fussy on that. I will just ask them to check according to that particular uh, journal's uh, references. Okay. What else is the, uh, how to say, uh, lack? in a journal that, uh, you know, people submitted, okay? Now, sometimes they tend to, you know, we, we try to show off, uh, you know, when we write, we write to express and also write to impress, right? So when you write, write, sometimes towards the end, suddenly they come up with some stranger. That means there is no introduction of this particular thing in front of, suddenly in the conclusion it came up. Okay, so uh, the same like a thesis, uh, you don't do that, okay? Don't do that, okay? Nothing being discussed in matters and all these things suddenly appear, the test, you know? Um, so these are the sometimes things you've got to make it coherent, okay? Um, yeah, so there are case report, technical and research note and short communication also sometimes in journal, uh, different journals, you see they, they uh, welcome people to submit, okay? Uh, short page of, uh, you know, uh, contribution, okay? Um, so articles in trade journals are typically shorter than in peer review journal and may also be as brief, like one page long and so on, okay? Um, so that is a published article. So article in press is those article Accepted, made available online before the official publication. Book, whether it's an entire book, monograph, or uh, the next one you see, a chapter, uh, book chapter. Okay. So the definition of book generally, you according to Malaysia National Library, if you want to submit for consideration for SBN, uh, it got to be thirty-two pages. So as I mentioned, the book is not a requirement for postgraduate study for now, okay? I'm not sure in the future how, okay? But uh, whatever it is, uh, we can uh, do it, okay? So keep a positive uh, mindset on that. Right, so chapter in book, uh, book chapter, okay? So I have a couple good ones here, okay? Like encyclopedia, um, my field of study and uh, yeah, uh, handbook. Handbook is like a Bible or dictionary, okay? Uh, so try to get into the high level. And uh, some of this book uh, uh, also, uh, like the handbook that I, I have, also uh, got its ranking, okay? All right. Then we have a conference paper, yeah. Now, normally, conference paper, you will transform this, therefore, become an upgrade into article. So when you present, people ask questions. Uh, people, when people ask questions, means there may be something uh, not too clear clarification. So you, uh, the input, then you up, uh, upgrade or improve your conference paper and then make it uh, articles. Now, that is very often people just stop at this level, conference paper, and they do nothing after that. So that is not too clever, okay? That is not too clever because you're already putting your effort to do it here, and why not another step further, find a journal and uh, get it published today. So the value here, conference paper, you presented, you pay money, all this thing, okay? Uh, and then if it's not being, uh, generate or transform into article, your return of investment is very low, lah, right? Double huh? value, not worthwhile. So if the economy is really not really fully utilize what's being asked, uh, I mean the resources that we have uh, put in, the effort that we put in. So 
an extra miles, then you will reach uh, articles. Okay, sometimes it's an extra long miles. Eh? Right. So we have talked about the conference paper. Okay, so sometimes proceeding, certain uh, proceeding sometimes is also um, have the ranking one, eh? but not all. Okay, but uh, some university, some university, unfortunately, when they see is uh, proceeding, they don't see that equivalent to the ranking of those. Okay, so um, that is reality. Okay, uh, because maybe some people. Uh, on top there, they may not understand the situation. They see because the word proceeding, so everybody proceeding is the same. Yeah, but there are difference. Uh, there are difference. Okay, some proceedings they also have. Uh, there are also ISI and all this uh, good uh, proceedings. Right, editorial. So this is a summary of several articles or provides editorial opinions or news. Okay, and uh, they will normally uh, identify as editorial, sometimes at the leading article, preface forward, you know, that kind of beginning. Huh? Right. Later term, uh, you do make a uh, mistake uh, in your writing. You know, we everyone make mistake, even after published, then you know. So if you notice a uh, paper published and then you find there are errors, yeah? Then the, that can be included in eratum, okay, erata, okay. So short item citing and all these things. So just recently, for example, I I, I produced you know, one chapter of book. I've checked everything, but I never thought that the things that I every day say, you know, could be a mistake, okay, to default to, uh, you know, uh, thirty five. I put that 25 to 35, for example, the youth age, uh, 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 no, 18 to 24, sorry, that one is a different, 18 to 24, okay, so I put become 18 to 25, you see, so I make a silly mistake, but I, straight away when I see that one, I wrote to the editors, I say, uh, I just noticed the copy that I received, that is a error, Tiny, but I feel miserable. Uh, and, okay, because that is every day I teaching, you know, uh, youth definition everywhere, you know, is, uh, yeah. So it's 15 to 24, but I put 15 to uh, 25. So, so I declare it, okay, be honest, yeah, be honest, right. Um, so they will they, they they say there are some other places error as well. So they will come with a list of uh, errata uh, to to show that. All right, that's good. All right. Um, sometimes certain journals they publish and then over time, uh, they they are totally like quite severe and all this. So that may be a retractions. Okay, uh, being withdrawn. Uh, take out. Okay. okay, so there are also letter to or correspondence with the editor. Okay, this one I haven't published this letter before. Okay, so maybe uh, next round I will try to do that when I'm happy with my journals and all this thing. Okay, yeah. Uh, the rest I think I almost done of them, right? Okay, so we do have some discussion or commentary. Uh, we are working, I'm uh, working on the commentary with uh, one very well-known uh, professor. So hopefully that will be accepted in some journal. Okay, uh, yeah. All right, so these are basically what uh, academia writing is all about, okay? Now, second questions that... Uh, the Zianti post asked me to address what is in that journal. Now I would like to improve that questions to rather what kind of index journal? Okay, so please beware of index journal. Okay, I just try to be funny. Okay, X that means dulu. Last time it may be in the index. Now no more. Exit. Uh, like a boyfriend, uh, ex-boyfriend, former already, exit, 
in X, uh, X, uh, X, uh, X, uh, X, 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 or maybe some of you, oh, X, 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 Y, Y, you always say my X, X, Y, but then you don't understand what it's happening for, right? Rupanya is already X, X, Y, keluar, out. Okay, so beware of index journal. Some journal, as I said, the criteria over time, okay, uh, it, it, it changes, okay. So for a person who really well versed on this journal, they really look into which year you publish and whether during that year, the journal is in what ranking, okay. Right, so those are things that you will. So make sure uh, some journals already being withdrawn no longer in the high class list. Uh, I call it high class. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the journal, you don't go and publish uh, because based on your requirement and all these things, it's no longer kind of in the index, then uh, you just cannot uh, publish that because you cannot graduate using that, for example. And then this is another one, predatory journal. Okay, I myself almost, I'm saying almost, but thank God I did not, okay, uh, fall into this uh, trap, okay. Uh, this happened in uh, 2015, I think. Uh, 2015? Yeah. 15 or 14? Yeah. Um, when I was giving birth, I gave birth to my child. And then, you know, like every year we still have, you don't care you give birth or whatever, right? you still have to go at the end, commit and do your, your KPI, you know, the. KPI, famous or infamous, I do not know. But uh, uh, we have all this to to meet, criteria to meet. Uh, just like student, yeah, this one you must meet, meet, meet otherwise you cannot come go. Okay. Right. So what I did is, oh, some people invite me to write. Also, I'm very happy thinking that this is a recognition. Huh? Okay. Um, so normally I be very careful. I check. Then happened to be this journal. I saw some of the professor in our faculty. They have published there. So I'm confident. I thought, well, if so many of my colleagues have published there, it should be no problem. So I take for granted just that once. I did not check the journal, and then I submit the paper. I mean, I always have some paper at hand, right? So I submit them. Yeah. And what happened next? They asked me, they come back, they say, oh, uh, being accepted and it will be published within a week, seven days. I was like, huh? This is the first time. No correction there. Is that that good? Not that I don't have confidence in my own writing, yeah. But sometimes, too good to be true, then you have the questions. Always ask yourself, why and what? Being a researcher, being a scholar. So I said, cannot be. So I start searching. Okay, during confinement, eh? <laughs> searching. Uh, I check. And then I uh, get to know to this guy. Jeffrey Bell, okay, um, really he, he is the one that, uh, and this is real, uh, 2015, uh, you see, okay. Um, he got this list, but uh, uh, after some time, he's no longer share this list because uh, uh, he was telling what, journals is predatory and all this thing. So some journal not happy trying to sue him. Okay. So it's a very complicated issues. Okay. So if you want to talk about why uh, predatory, some do have some good papers. Okay. So maybe those are like genuine cases like myself, for example, if I was not alert enough that time, I may have published in that predatory uh, publisher. I believe uh, in good favor, my other colleagues that have published there, so many of them, also may face the same thing. Okay. 
But Jeffrey Bell at that time tell me one thing that I would never, never forget. He told me, so I asked him, I said, this one, I meet, need to meet this uh, KPI, key, in the key performance or whatever. He told me this, Janice, it's better not to publish than publish in predatory uh, journals. Because once you publish, you're forever there. Okay, you become cha lah in a way, okay? You become the, your, your record don't seem to be too, too, too nice, you know? You have some dogs, dirts in your publications, okay? So, so that is what he wants me. Okay, so going back. So, uh, so these are the few things that I would like to talk about. Index journal, predatory, and how you're checking, huh? So this is what, uh, the Zanti also want me to do. How, 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 how. Okay, uh, this is some of the example of uh, Scopus. Okay, Scopus. So these are some of the publishers. So you can see uh, all this. This is, I just take one, uh, August 27, that, that, that documents that I have. Okay, you see they are little, 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 but they are 60% or other. Okay, okay. So these are macam-macam ada, macam-macam ada, and jangan asalkan ada. This is not, uh, ada kah? Uh, not index ah. Huh? The yellow box is not index ah. Huh? Okay, okay. So these are so many, eh? so very many. Okay. So just now you say you must have one my side. Another one is ERA. Uh, I tell you a joke, eh? When I first came back that time, when I published in EIA, people thought these are rubbish, okay? Because they only know uh, Scopus that time. Even they rank ISI lower than Scopus, unfortunately, that time, yeah? I can tell you this is true. Okay, I speak from my heart. But actually, uh, ISI is, uh, you know, higher. Yeah. So some of the... Scopus ini, uh, is with the uh, eyes as well, okay? Uh, right? So anyway, ERA, this one is uh, Australia and New Zealand tech site, uh, down, down under, okay? Uh, so every year or every few years, last time is every year, uh, the government uh, will come up with a list of the publications that uh, these are the good journals, recognized journals, okay? So actually, if you could publish in EIG journal, that is equally good. Now, I have mentioned earlier on, yeah, why people are so just concerned and focused on Scopus only, because why? Uh, Scopus punya marketing uh, did very well, okay? Once upon a time, during my uh, days in university, we have this only, a few of these, this progress, those, okay? But over time, it, uh, so if you look at Scopus history, I think it's 2007 or 2004, if not mistaken, okay? But their marketing are so good that, uh, become the trusted brand, okay? Until some university at some point, they thought Scopus is the highest of my law, is a, you know, the god or the goddess, okay? No. Right? So actually indexing is just a guideline. It's just a guideline. Okay. So think, check and submit. So I told you about my case, when they say it can be published in uh, seven days, you pay this, USD, how much, how much, then it's done. I was like, where is my correction? So stupid gun, I say, I'm so stupid. Then people will say, no correction can bring already. You still want to ask for correction. I ask them. I ask them, do I not need to do correction? At first, they are very fast to reply. 
within minutes, no, it's okay. We can publish it. It's, it's fine. So if I say, is it pinned review or not? Yeah, quite a joker, eh? And so I start checking. I find, oh my God, this is one of the predatory journal that Jeffrey Bell listed. I still have the list with me. Okay. Yeah. So I wrote to them again. A journal, you must remember, you must retract, eh? you must withdraw your, your journal. Okay. So when I wrote to Dan to withdraw my journal, no reply. Until today, no reply. So that can confirm for you that this journal is a predatory. Okay. Uh, don't ask me what name of the journal. Like, it's not nice because some of our colleagues also already have the journals there. You go and find yourself. Like, huh? uh, so these are the things that happen. Okay. So Whatever you see other people already published or whatever the name there, still need to check. I learned my lesson. So scared, you know. So I, but I managed to withdraw it, although they did not respond to me whatsoever. But it's okay. I have withdraw on my part. This is case closed. So if in future there are something or something, we can show our evidence that we have withdraw. Okay. So very important. Huh? Think, check, and then submit. All right, so I mentioned just now, uh, these are the lists uh, that time that I share on the Facebook. Okay, uh, I'm not sure whether it's still there. I think Bell has uh, took it down. So in 2015, I have this, uh, share this one. So 2017, when I want to publish another, I try to look for that. Uh, list okay or new list or something i cannot find anymore so you can see uh, this is my conversation with jeffrey bell okay so you see uh, you can see when i wrote to him uh 2015 okay and then i say many times for the journalist provider then 2017 i want to find again say i say what Hi, hi, hi there. Uh, I was checking online on the predatory list and only to realize it's no longer available. And this did a little reading on the reason. Honestly, honestly, you and your list have saved me in 2015. It's a shame that the list cannot be obtained publicly, as many innocent academics may fall trapped to it. Anyway, if ever possible to have a list privately, I will appreciate if you can share that info and I promise to use it with ethics. Uh, but if it is inconvenience for you to do so, I respect you and your decision, as I believe you will surely have reasons for that. I pray and wish you well. Once again, many thanks indeed. May God bless you. Okay, so this is being written uh, in... Uh, March huh? 31st, 1970. So, uh, although by then I did not have much publication, but I take every publication seriously. So you can see I write this, I check this. Huh? Then he said, this is his reply, see? Uh, when is it? Uh, 31st huh? uh, March, he replied, Hi Janice, I'm sorry, I will not be able to publish my list again, either publicly or uh, privately. I'm happy to hear you have found the list you helpful in the past. And thanks again, Jeffrey. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I say thank you. Uh, that. Yeah. So it's really sad uh, that we, we cannot have that list uh, publicly. But not to worry, after this incident, that uh, Jeffrey need to uh, withdraw. There are some other uh, vets that came, you know, uh, coming to like uh, surface. Yeah, All right. So what is in that journal, and then how we check? Now, if you have the feeling that is too good to be true, you pay money. That's it. Go. KK mengata jalan terus. Huh? Straight, uh, you know, green light, no correction, nothing. Then 
you have to be clever to think, is it that good? Okay, so you can check uh, on uh, eyes eye actually. Okay, but uh, UMS do not subscribe to uh, that. That's why you say once upon a time we subscribe eyes eye. Okay. Uh, but because of uh, some confusion, so we, we don't have that. Okay. So, um, but the good news is today, this morning, I just checked uh, Web of Science. You can actually log on here and then uh, yeah, show you. Can you see my screen? Can you see, see the screen? Yes, we can. Yeah. So you can uh check yeah this is a journal that my student and i published there so okay that is there okay good journal fine i'm so worried my sometimes my student just simply uh, send to some things yeah you never know what you end up with right okay so this is uh my student uh i think this year or last year end of last year this year but anyway this morning i got Another student, they got two paper being accepted in another journal, okay, EIA journal, uh, because he's going to pre -YWA and soon. So, yeah, so it's good news, okay? Right. But uh, the name in the publication also uh, a bit, uh, uh, you know, uh, careful. So I always tell people my academic name is Janice L dot ish dot nye, because the English way of writing your name and the Malaysian way of writing, we ours here is Chinese nye le hui. So very often, sometimes I'm my surname is hui. So when you come to citation, they will cite hui something. So did not count to me, you, you know? So I got a, quite a few journal that is a problem on that. But what to do? Okay. So I told my student uh, next time. You put my name is Janice L dot H. Yeah. So they do not know what is the L and dot H, then they know surname is yeah, finished. Okay. So it's painful. You see people quote your paper, but that is not counted, you know, in your H index and all this thing. Okay, whatever. Okay. Um, so you got to write to them to show them, prove you are indeed Janice Ngali Hui. And you are not hui comma dot it's very troublesome. Okay. I mean to me, I'm you know, we are busy and then already published and then ah yeah, this thing citation that is uh, wrong and all this thing. Yeah. Okay. Right. So if even in the previously year, uh, previously, previous before today, uh, I, I do not but only today I check because I'm giving you this one. So I just try my luck. You see, I never give up, you see. I try my luck to see whether we can access. So I think maybe ISI Web of Science also um, encourage people to use that to compete. Yeah? Uh, so they put this one, yeah, just now this one. You can fill in anything that, uh, uh, you know, uh, journal that you want to publish and you can. Doctor, uh, I have question. Yes, please. Okay. Do you find a journal first before writing your topic or you write then you find journal? Which way oh. for the students to do it? Good point, good point, good point. To be honest, there is no golden rules, to be honest. Sometimes it's opportunity, but which way is easier? Okay, which way is easier? All right. Now I would say you don't write in full the journal. You structure your journal first. Structure is not writing a full paper, okay? Then you find the relevant journals that meet your criteria, that are interested in your things. How to find, you say? Uh -huh. You look at their publication, you read their publication. Um, the area, the aspects, most of the journal they have introduced like introduction, what they are interested in, which field. But sometimes they do not, that didn't tell you uh, much. So when you, when you want to publish in a journal, you've got to find 
to read a few articles in that A journal. Now, I must uh, tell you fairly, some journals, especially those, because now journals, they also have whatever Q1, Q2, and not so cute and all these things. Eh? That also become a little bit faker these days. Last time, if you publish in uh, journals, some journals, okay, as long as your journal have the credential and all these things, even within your reference list got zero article quote from that same journal that you are going to publish, your papers still get published. But to tell you honest, there are still journals that can, can allow that to happen. Like the journal that I publish is one, is free. Now, if even if you don't uh, quote their journals there, you still can publish yeah, because I did it before. Okay, I didn't know uh, because so lurus well, no? so straight. Uh, but uh, you know, you do not know, do not think of that political uh, politics of uh, publication, if you want to call it. So, uh, but these days, some you will receive some notes to tell, you know, uh, they will encourage. Uh, you know, so because if you quote their journals in your journal, although it's some sort of like uh, journals uh, self-citation to that extent, but you still help uh, in one way or another, you know. So it's a complicated process, but that's how it works, isn't it? Yeah, life. Yeah, challenge. So come back to Dr. Zianti. Which one first? You structure first? Then you get to know all the journal that you want to uh, publish, read their articles, okay? Read what is their top articles, read what is their other thing. Then sometimes you can see there is a trend, the way, the style of their writing. Then you try to write in that sense, okay? Some they're very straightforward, punchy, and all these things. Yeah. Some they don't want you to be too long, okay? Now, Okay, so if some they have a limited page, right? So if you have too long uh, already, you already pre-written there, then for this, uh, yeah, it's suitable, but it doesn't matter, right? So you cannot publish there. So you have to find another journal that suits you. It also can work. We have a journal at plenty, yeah? so many journals that you can look for. So it's not really a serious issue, lah. but I would say, you structure like what title and all these things, then you start to scout for the journal that you want. Okay? And uh, pay attention to the journal, whether they require payment or not. Some very good journal, yes, Q1, but they need like 2,000 USD. So if you don't have that money, what can you do? All right? Okay, so be realistic. Okay? be realistic and uh, do as needed. So a uh, more economical way of uh, doing is structure it, uh, see what are the journal that uh, relevant to you, okay? Uh, Publums also is quite good. They can suggest to you like what journal that you can publish if you give them some keyword and all these things. Yeah? Um, then uh, try to look into that journal and then see the frequency of the journal and so on, okay, uh, acceptance rate, rejection rate, okay, so this is all you can consider, doesn't mean acceptance rate high, your journal will definitely, your paper will definitely be accepted into the journal, not, not necessarily, okay, also the, and also recently I see, uh, but I did not explain in this, uh, I, I mean, I just explain here, okay, there are some months, uh, uh, of a uh, journal that is acceptance rate is higher and I somehow noticed that uh, is during summer time so we have not uh, northern and southern hemisphere so somewhere July there <laughs> the acceptance rate is high you know yeah strange isn't it coincident I don't know so it is a summertime, so yeah, maybe you know our 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 lot of a scholar they are uh, westerner. They normally go for holiday during summer and all this, so they 
when when they on holiday, they are on holiday are not doing all this. Unlike we Malaysian, uh, go holiday, we will bring our uh, this thing, and even meeting will attend and all this. We do not know what is a holiday. You see, uh, people message you, you still reply on work uh, related. You see, uh, my friend Westerner, the holiday, holiday, you know, you don't disturb. You disturb also no respond because they will tell you they are on holiday. They told you already. Okay, so anyway, uh, there are some good journals that uh, you know uh, they don't require payment. They don't do all this funny stuff. Uh, although it sounds like they are not too clever, but they maintain the genuine. Uh, but of course, if we can, if we know this is a trend in the world these days, yeah, why not we also quote some of these journals, um, you know, into our writing to help them, yeah. So it's always like you help me, I help you, and eh? I help you, you help me. Eh? So <laughs> that may be helping. But do not overdo it. Okay. Uh 10 references, eight is from that same journal. So you are just making a boo-boo on that. Okay. So don't don't overdo it. You can insert some, but not too much. Okay. Right, Dr. Zian, did I answer your question? Yes, yes, Dr. Yes. Okay, so we continue that. Any more questions from the student? Right. So if in case one day, like last time, uh, as I that thing cannot be assessed anymore, now you can go to this. Uh, this one is a cheap one. It's always free. Always free. The Dulu Sampai Sekarang, hopefully in the future also still free. Shimago. Shimago. And Shimago is quite friendly and easy. Okay. And they will tell you what are the uh this thing so you can see all this number that i typed yeah? because i got invitation from nowhere and all this thing so when i search whether it's valid or no uh not even appear in simago so bye bye i love you okay i don't want to go there okay uh, i got invitation for example the journal of sports economics then i check hey not bad i think I just try huh? so that's why the typing is there. sage publication it's a good so you click on here, for example, oh, this is high. Okay. Right, it got uh, 21 years, okay. All right, and then uh, one second. I just booked this hotel, that's why it appeared. Because I'm going to Kuching tomorrow. Huh? Can you see? Uh? Okay. Doctor, we can see. Right. Okay. Doctor, show them where to see the QQ. Uh, QQ here, here, here. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you see it here? Simago are here. Uh, very easy, Simago. Here, Q1. So this is a Q1 journal. Mm. Uh, Q1. Okay. This one, uh, I got a paper there. Okay. So, uh, no, I, I got invitation. I haven't read, I haven't read this one. But then uh, you can try another, so for example, Journal of Mathematics that I got a paper there. See what is a Q, huh? let's see. I type. Uh, this one. I remember it's a Hindavi. Hindavi. Okay. Okay. So this is a Q3. Okay. Right. And then uh, we want to go for Cosmopolitan. CCS. Huh? Just to show you, I uh, get familiarized. So I normally, even my under, undergrad student, I ask them to check one of the assignments, uh, ask them to check, uh, get a poster out of it, okay? Get a journal, read a good journal, Q1, Q2. So they have to go here to prove, you know, uh, this is Q3, Q2, or whatever, okay? Now, this one, uh, last year means the year before, right? Eh? So you got a Q1. Next. For Q2 now, 
Q3. Okay, so it's okay. It's still, as long as it's got some Q there, it's Q, okay? All right. So you can see. And actually, different discipline also within that have a different distinct. So for UM, University of Malaya, if you have Q2 and Q1, they take the higher one. If you have Q3 and Q2, they take the higher one, Q2, the highest one. But uh, UMS is slightly different, okay? Uh, okay, they don't acknowledge that, huh? okay? So normally I will report the lower one, uh, whatever lah. Malas mau gado, kan? So remember, when you publish, it's actually for yourself. Eh? Uh, although we need, uh, we do have the key performance indicator and all this thing, uh, but it's not really um, in the top priority. Yeah. Yes, if they will use it for promotion, it shouldn't to some extent. I mean, it should only to some extent, but not entirely depend on that. Okay, so yeah, okay, so these are the things that you can check. Huh? These two, Simago and the ISI Web of Science. Okay, okay, so last time you cannot, so when cannot, so I find alternative. Lah. Uh, don't need to go to UMS there and scroll the Bandahari why or library why they don't subscribe ISI anymore. Kan? I just laugh at the last time. Uh, yeah. Good thing they don't subscribe and then this. Subscribe to a lower rate, okay. But anyway, okay. Now, when it come to impact factor, okay. So, oh, the chase like Q1, Q2. Now, there are sometimes you receive email and all these things, and they will tell you impact factor four, or five, or six, or seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. What's so high? You're so happy, you know. They fact it, well, okay. They in, they blow it to the it depends on how you calculate it, okay. So, again. Don't trust all this too much, okay? Uh, you go to the public uh, web that is Shimago. So if you claim, don't be surprised, uh, they claim so much their impact factor. When you cut and paste their number and put in Shimago, you can't even find that exists there. Okay? So if you're not there, sometimes they may be in an ERA list, you go and check in the ERA list. Okay, but ENA list is a bit tough to check because every year the government will come up with a new list. Uh, every periodically, you know, last time was a yearly, I, I heard. But now I think maybe two years, I do not know whether this still is an annual uh, practice or not. And then eh, there is another uh, impact factor, fake one. Huh? Okay. Right, so be beware of that. So when you receive an email, they say, oh, we are very impressed with the presentation of this paper and all that, da, 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 da. Okay? Don't fool too happy. Question. Okay, the nature of a researcher is questions. Right? So, uh, so these are what we can use uh, for all these uh, impact factor, uh, how you can utilize it. You know? So as an objective measure of a uh, journal prestige, whether it's a good journal or not so good. And, okay. Um, or you want to select journals for libraries, yeah? Okay. Um, so sometimes, what journal we want. But these days, normally they come in together a, a group of uh, journals and all this. But there are still uh, individual kind of uh, journals, yeah, uh, that library need to subscribe separately. Now, misuse of impact factor. Okay. I did not say this, uh, you can go here and search that is there, okay? Academic evaluation, so the lecturer, for example, want to promote promotion, okay, uh, grants, funding to see were well, you great or not, you know, all this. And so it doesn't reflect really to what you're writing because this is talking about 
the whole entire journal. It's not your individual work of that journal. Now, if you, your journal, for example, for example, I have one, uh, the COVID that one, thank God for that. That journal, for example, in a CCS. So now it's a Q2 or something like that, right? But if your article got so many people download and uh, things like that, when more people download means there are more chances for you to get read and then probably get quoted in their journals and so on. So that journal really like it's only a few months time already got people cited. Okay, so it's not bad. Yeah. So actually, if you really want to count, is that journal itself got how many uh, citations that should be the way, the more realistic way. Now, and these people being referred in their journal, those are in what journal? So these are some of the considerations you really need to look into. It's not like just many, I publish in this journal. Okay, yay, yeah, yeah, QWAU, but nobody quote your paper anyway. Means nobody even read or feel like need to put in your journal any importance in their paper. So what is it? What does it mean? So the, the, that means the journal get a higher ranking, the Q1. Your paper did not contribute to that. Other people's paper maybe yeah, get uh, uh, quotes or get cited from other papers in the same journal that you publish. But your paper goes on. Zero point. So what is it? Okay, right. So as I said, all this have become industry, you know, commercialized and things like that. Um, publication should be fun actually, where you want to, you're so excited, like you want to share your new findings with people. Of course, as academic assignment itself is not enough. You know, you've got to prove that you're worth. So that's why you have to. Uh, publish peer review journal or index journal, so I will ask you. I think there is some missing here. What time? Never mind. So there are some controversial. Sorry, let me check. I find it very. Um, strange is this. Okay, never mind. All right. Uh, okay. So authorship, some controversial. So this is one of the issues that we need to address. Eh? Who should be the first author, for example? Okay. Uh, who should be the corresponding author? And how many authors to be in an article? Okay, I, I did see some of the article there. There are really very many authors in an article. The length of the names of the author is like the extract, you know, so long. Okay. Uh, in Malay, we call it tempe, tempe nama. You just stick your name there. You do not even know which part is your contribution. Okay. Um, so this, this thing happens, you see. You can't entirely blame these people because they have KPI to you know, uh, to to uh, too much emphasize. I would say too much emphasize on this kind of uh, uh, indicator and so on. So, forth. so people can fake it. People can uh, abuse it, uh, exploit it. You know. Uh, all right. Now, who should be first author? This one also lots of uh, my colleagues uh, uh, 
UMS and elsewhere uh, may not agree with me. Yeah? But I maintain that when you have a work, yeah, student, especially postgraduate students, uh, even my undergrad student, when they do final year project with me or academic paper, I made them publish. That was many, many years ago, I think 2011 or 12, when I first came at the time. Yeah? So the students were very proud. And I let the student become the first author, second author. I'm a third author. See? Uh, some is uh, the student is the first author, I'm a second author. I never take the first author. Although, although I do most job than the student correcting their language, this and that, questioning this and that. To me, it's very simple. Anything good for the student, therefore, it's good to me. When the student graduate, they feel so proud. They are undergrad student. And this journal, that time, my site haven't appeared. The journal is now in my site. One of the journal that if anyone do on youth, we must refer the Irish journal. Now they got a new name, Asia Pacific journal. Okay. So I make a student first author, but I do all the corresponding work. So I'm a corresponding author. Okay. I want the student to be proud. Some of my colleagues argue that we do more work, therefore, lecturer should be the first author. I know I'm going to offend you, you know, some of your supervisors, something, but I maintain that. You can check all my list of publication with my student. If it's their word, never I put myself first author. I can say that. Why? Because I'm the only one here to do that. But if I co-author with a student, the work, the idea is from me. I work it on student help, student become co-author, yes. But it is from student thesis. I think it's very unethical to make ourselves the first author. Your research grant, yes, by all means, you put your uh, self at the first quarter. Yeah. But student thesis gives you an acknowledgement to student to become first quarter. Then I get another argument on this from other colleagues. Say, hey, we need first quarter because it carries weight. Students don't need it. They are not academic. They go out and work and all these things. My question is not whether the student, it is useful to the student or not. My question is the ethics of it. Is that? So if your supervisor, okay, asks you to become the second author, and that happened also, okay, oh. sometimes, yeah. Would you need to agree or not? What is your right and responsibility? Okay. Right. Well, still, some academics even make the student believe that it is unimportant whether it's a first order or second order. So if you die hard, you yourself cannot produce academic, no? Uh, cannot produce as a first author in any writing. You have to depend on the student thesis or what. Get permission from the student. Ask permission from them. At least get a consent that hey, I use it because I cannot produce my own as a first author. So can I use yours and then I become the first author? At least ask. But to me, whatever it is, still, I feel like if it's student work, it should give due acknowledgement student as a first quarter. So corresponding order, you can be the corresponding order by all means. Okay, how many authors I have mentioned that? Not too many. How can you put, you know, 20 person or 12 person, seven or nine or what into that? Unless it's from the project, uh, from the project and then, you know, that, that is a different issues, okay? Anyway. It's a shame, no? 
for our academics to be uh, like that. Yeah, we just put our name there, and yeah. So a challenge to add to us as an educator. Anything good for the students? To my students, it's good to me. Put ourselves out of the equation. Okay. So these are the ethics: integrity, moral principles, honesty, right, fairness, responsibility, fun, science. Uh, choice where is our honor, okay, our value. Okay? So I'm sorry if some of the academic here or someone may be listening it uh, later on, okay, if you, you are offended with my remarks, but I learned from my very honorable supervisors, yeah? Emeritus Professor Terry King. He never put his name first when we called, uh, when the word is from my book. But he do lots of correction for me. So I I I maintain the same tradition, the good practice. Okay. So that's why I can you see now I'm so proud I can say it without fear that that should be given to students. Unless you ask for permission. See now, if you damn them and then you quietly do it, it's totally wrong, unethical. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry if you are offended with my remarks, but I still need to say it. I do afraid you will get mad and angry with me, but I'm more afraid if God get mad with me if I don't say it. Because sometimes students do not know who you're right. Okay, sorry, but I got to speak from my heart. You may argue and continue to do what you are doing. That is wrong. That is your choice. I'm okay. I'm not a police to catch you. Okay, so this is... Uh, uh, things that I, I would like to say to the So if we do have uh, done in the mistake in the past, uh, we should stop it and don't do it again. So if your supervisor have done it in the past, maybe another paper you tell him, tell her to stop doing that. Okay. If your supervisor are yet to make such mistake, don't let them start it. Okay. Don't let them fall into that sin or dozer at all. Okay, so please, I plead to you. Uh, right. Any questions on this? So I think uh, next time Dr. Izianti won't uh, invite me already. Just... No, that's ethical. There's ethics up there, right? I'm, I'm speaking from my heart, uh, Dr. Yeah, but do, but do. So again, this one, another crucial one. Uh, we saw out the two controversial issues on the impact factor and then on the authorship. Now we come to this. Do you really need to publish in a journal? There's lots of comments. Oh, saying, oh, journal, why you become too industrial? I say industrialized, but I still work very hard to publish in good journal, okay? It's difficult. Jangan because it's difficult, don't because it's difficult, therefore we don't publish, we don't do, then we find excuses and not publish to justify ourselves. No, we publish. Tell people it's so difficult to publish and then we finally, finally you got published and you're so happy. Your own, you, your achievement, you know, you fight against yourself, okay? You compete within yourself yesterday and today, last year and now. So now you've got to be better than yesterday and tomorrow got to be better than today. So people say, oh, you, you know, you publish in journal, nobody read, la. you better publish in newspaper, la. wider audience. La. Huh? Can I say or not? Hello, you ask yourself, you know it's not the same. It's not the same. But you try to justify. You are in the state of denial. Oh my goodness, I'm going to offend more people now. Huh? They are academic. Shameful. Can't even publish in a journal, but can be advisor to some very powerful people, like the prime minister or something, something like that. I don't want to name it. Uh, you you interested, you can Google. Lah. So this kind of people, oh, they got publication. What? You check out the publication newspaper. You better become a journalist. Don't become an academic. Wrong profession. I'm not saying writing in newspaper is wrong. Don't get me wrong. I say writing in newspaper is correct. It's good. Why the audience? But if you can write 100 newspaper, 
zero journal, you are no good. If you can write some in good journal, some more newspaper, that's fine. Huh? Okay, you are more towards writing newspaper type. But journal, you may be weak on that. We, we, we appreciate, we allow that weaknesses in everybody. But if you can only publish in newspaper, but not in any journal, you better become journalist. Sorry. Yeah? So there are professors trying to justify that, oh, we, we contribute to the community and all these things. We write in books. Uh, uh, Yes, you can write 10 books, but with 10 books, you can't even write one journal, you are no good. And you call yourself professor, it's only worth Professor Kanko. Sorry to say. Strike to excel. Have you strike to excel or you strike to excuses? You know, I always tell my student, when you have something, find solutions or you find excuse, waste time to find excuses to justify your weaknesses. Okay, it's your choice. It's your choice. Okay, so students, you may become one day academics. Okay, don't practice that, that kind of, uh, um, you know, justifying your weaknesses by excuses, but rather finding times, don't waste time, utilizing the time, to find solutions. Then people say, oh, international journal and local journal. Hey, local, but you know, only you benefit the people. Local. What kind of mindset is that? You mean the local people cannot read international? Because they cannot get into the international recognition, they say, ah, oh, local is enough. Come on. It, it's not wrong you write all, I mean, more in local, but at least uh, you've got international standing. If a professor, you go to the World International Platform, nobody even recognizes you, who you are. But look, you call yourself a professor, nobody appreciates what you've done. Nobody cite you, nobody read your things and all this thing. So it's a nipple sergan, don't call me professor and all that, you know. So, but today is our world is a shameless, you know, a corrupted, steal money and all this thing, no shame. Everybody know how to say that, right? Yeah. Writing in books is not wrong. Yeah. Writing in books is not wrong. But it's still different. If you being an academic and you cannot write in journal, maybe you should not call yourself academic. Okay. So if some of students here, maybe you are an uh, academic who is uh, uh, now doing a uh, uh, study or postgraduate study or something, think about it, reflect. Allow, if you have that kind of thinking, insert, insert that. Repent and get back to the right route. Okay? I'm sorry I got to be uh, saying like that because this is, I'm speaking from my heart. I mean, I have, I, I'm, I don't have tons of a publication, uh, you know, if compared to my husband, but I have more, much more publication than years ago of me, myself. Okay, so you compete with yourself always. Right? Some of my friends say, hey, among your colleagues, you are not too bad. Ma. You already do so well. Why you, you work so hard on that? I say, you know, since five years old, I want to be academic. Yeah? I don't want to insult that profession. I don't want to insult my ambitions. So I, I compete with myself. I don't care what my other colleagues do. When they publish in good journal, I'm happy for them because when we do that, we give our students confidence in us. We show them the way, the difficult way that we've gone through and we can help them. If you have not gone through all this published in journal, got rejection and you cry, you know, you really cry. When you see the, 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 the comments, girl, it's just so close the word to stupid, but they didn't say it. Lah. But you pick up your emotion and try to accept again. Okay, so that is the uh, things that I hope. So enough controversies, we shall have peace. Okay, and in the Malay uh, Pantum, okay, ada mata pandanglah keindahan, ada mulut berbudilah perpetuturan, ada hati berilah kesayangan, ada salah dan silap, sudi.
maafkan. So my sincere apology if I do make my remarks make you offend, make you feel offended. I'm sorry, but if that is so, I wish that you uh, reflect and uh, repent. Okay, if some of you here uh, relevant to you. If you haven't do anything that kind of uh, unethical word, congratulations and maintain that don't get there, don't get there, okay? Be a person that, you know, to be respected, you know, respect is earned, it's not by force, okay? So yeah, we shall have peace and peace be with you. Thank you very much. I think the sharing is up here. All right. Okay, thank you, Dr. Janice, Associate Professor Dr. Janice. Such an inspiring um, topic, yeah. It, it was just meant for um, sharing knowledge, but it's more than that. It happens to be something which is uh, so meaningful and useful for the students and also for the academician itself, right? Um, without further ado, if you have any questions to uh, Dr. Janice, uh, you may ask, um, Ask her, ask uh, Dr. Janice, especially for those who uh, just started their PhD. How, how can they start, Doctor? How can they start writing? What type of question is that? You need to start writing. You need to start writing. I always, I always tell my student, write one sentence a day. Yeah. And lucky, you are lucky you are not my student, right? Because at the end of the thesis or something, I will ask my student, I'm very naughty, huh? I ask my student, can you summarize your thesis in three sentences? Mm -hmm. If you cannot summarize your thesis in three sentences, then you cannot submit for your uh, proposal, uh, for your uh, Pre defense, pre one. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Because you've got to be clear what is your direction. So just start writing, yeah? just start writing. Uh, start with your beginning with your literature review. It won't yeah. get you wrong. Okay. Um, Maybe. In the boxes, like what? Uh, yeah. So that is another good topic to look into to share. Yeah. How you how you do it? And I tell you the literature review that I ask my student to do. Also over time, it gets more. It's improved. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for the first generation, I mean, it's a very blank, simple, a few boxes, and then over time, it become more. Where from the literature, you have some is uh, on uh, uh, methods or tests that you use, or, mm. or methodology side, and then another maybe from your aspect. Okay, so sometimes even when you look at people, different people doing different things, when you can see the difference or trends, you can make a paper out of it. Yeah. Because that is a contribution, you see. All right. Um, yeah, that we have a question here, yeah. the doctor. Do you have any suggestions for writing a good literature review? It's a skill, then, doctor. It's a. I skill. think you can learn. Yes, writing uh, is a skill that you need to learn. Yeah, I think so, uh, practice make perfect, huh? Betul, betul. I but, myself like to write one paragraph. It takes me. <laughs> few days right doctor one paragraph you know but um i would also like to share like, doctor, when i did my phd every day you read uh i will check on my phd work lah. okay sometimes i need to take a break from that phd work but uh what i do is i i write paper instead instead of focusing on my thesis solely on my thesis yeah okay let's i told my supervisor Prof, can I come up with a conceptual paper so my mind will be a little bit out from the thesis? I want to do more more writing on the paper itself. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, my professor told me like that. So it can be done as well, can doctor? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I was I would like to say this, yeah. Um but it's almost time, but never mind. Um if 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 anyone wants to leave, it's okay. If anyone wants to stay, just stay. Now, if you if you are writing something in your thesis or whatsoever, okay, so I, I've said start with literature that is the most this thing. One sentence, every sentence that you write, ask yourself why you write this sentence. Okay, I, I'm not be mean, but every sentence should have its meaning. Mm -hmm. When I first started my PhD, I just simply write. Then my friends asked me, why are this one or you write this one? The Vietnamese guy. 
Okay, his uh, PhD is only interviewing four person, four person interview done on the ticket. Yeah. So anyway, coming to that, a great challenge is after you write so difficult one day, write one sentence and all these things. After some time, you read. Uh, you laugh. Not relevant. Yeah, you laugh. You laugh at your writing. No good. Now the great challenge comes. Are you willing to chuck this up into the paint? I was like, I spent six months write this two paragraph and then to chuck it away. Somebody happy, yeah? Right. I tell you one thing. Uh, I wrote so much on the methodology, uh, literature, wrote and come to my second supervisor. My second supervisor, very mean, okay, told me, this itself can fail you. All this can chuck away, no one. You write this, you know, just methodology one, and chuck away. Wow, you know how many books that I take from Leeds University? No, I'm very thrifty, no money. Eh? Walk home, you know, with carrying the bags of the books. Taking that out, finish, change another batch, come back. And he told me, chuck this all, or listen, A L L, all, you know, away. You want to cry or not? You ask me, I cry or not? I cry. Trust me, I cry. And the word, his writing is very small, red, red color, but very pedestrian. If you notice, uh, all my students, uh, I never use red pen because it's scary. I will use pencil or black ink, blue ink. Never use red pen. If you don't believe, you ask Hasmawati, I never request for red pen. <laughs> Are you willing to chuck it away? My experience is how much unwilling we are I was, I chuck it away. I throw it away out of my thesis painfully. Yes, very painfully. But a great lesson. I can probably tell you my thesis is Lulus Tambur Pumbatolan. Just one error. And then I tell the examiner, I noticed this one. My examiner was amazed. You can be your own examiner. So. And he said, this is the best. This is for methodology chapter. That is 2009. I hope, I hope from 2009 until now, there are people better than me. He said, I have examined. The chapter three is so proper and order and good. And he said this, I wish all the PhD student candidate can be like this. That will make our life so easy. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have not chucked the whole things out, I would not get a, a new, a fresh of this chapter that is well praised in my viva. Right? So, but the things that chucked away, the knowledge you have learned and put together is not wasted. That's why with the Yanti, you know, if you're talking about methodology and all these things, I got lots of those information because some part, even not in thesis, being chucked away, you have learned that. Knowledge learned is not wasted. It will be useful one day. The painful experience that you've gone through is not without meaning. Trust in God, okay? Have faith in God. God knows what is best for us. We may not understand during that time, God, why did this happen to me? But over time, it will reflect to you. It's like myself. So just have faith, go. Just go on. You know, fight on. To one extent, I tell you, I do not know I can graduate or not. I think everybody has that feelings. The genuine PhD people, eh? They have their feelings. That time I can lose or not. That's so why every time when I chair uh, Waiva, 
the real way of life. When I see them cry and the tears and all these things, tears of joy, it just bring me back to the moment uh, many years back that I also gone through. Okay, so anything that you have learned, you feel like this is not good enough to fit in. You ask why it got to be in my thesis. Why, 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 why you deserve a place in my thesis? If you think there are better things to be, to be more deserving in your thesis, chuck it out. Okay, so yeah, and put it in. Okay, but I'm not telling you to go back and throw everything today. Okay, <laughs> throw with the, you know, a, a, a good reason to replace with a better thing. You throw everything away and then you get zero. That is not clever also. Okay, right? So be patient with yourself. Have that passion. Continue on. I believe if I can, everyone can. Remember, my, my supervisor made me a comment. This itself can fail you. I don't see any supervisor here is that mean to tell you that. Nah? So you are not as bad as me before, right? So if I can lose Tamba Pumbadola, I think you can do it. Yeah. With Pumbadola or without Okay. Okay. Any more questions for Dr. Janie? So I hope it's clear. Today we learn on um, what are requirements needed for your public, uh, what the publication requirement for your, um, uh, for the graduation purposes. Yeah, we also learned. That is a question like uh, writing a good literature review. Ah. So that is always one way and uh, two way. Eh? When you read the literature, that means other journal books or whatever, you tease them into themes and all this. Eh? And then after that, you ask yourself, what I use this in my study? Okay. So if the things that you are not using in your study, if you want to put it in, you've got to explain why it is not in your thesis, uh, why it is not used in your study. If you are not going to explain why, then this thing you don't need to put in. To put in yeah. 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 Writing thesis literature is not to make it thicker the pattern. Yeah. No. Okay. It's not collection of rubbish. Okay collection of a relevant one and how you discuss debate and put it uh how to say specifically reflecting and useful applicable to your study to your subject that you are doing now mm -hmm. if it's not then don't put it maybe it's useful in another study but not now and then then another study postdoc or whatever you keep there lah. Uh, don't feel like oh, yo, I already read this journal. This journal is so tough and difficult. I finally understand. Uh, so I already read. Uh, but now uh, I did not put in my paper, uh, in my uh, thesis. Uh, sayang. Correct, uh, you, anyone got this kind of feeling or not? I got those feelings. I got, them. I got. But still, you have to put it away. Remember? Uh, today, I tell you, what you have learned is not wasted, even if it's not in your thesis. It's here. You have gone through. It's not the output, it's the outcome. It's the process that makes you different. Okay? So, with that, uh, my answer for that, uh, how shall we? I hope I answer you. Okay. So, any more questions? So, I wrap up today. We learn on. Um, identifying types of articles, what is publication, how do you want to search whether it's uh, legit, what are the journals, yeah, the one who is not legit, the one who read the journals, why that you really need to plan well ahead on writing because it takes time, kan, doctor? Satu tahun, satu kali, doctor. Yeah, sometimes it takes one year plus. Sometimes... One year plus to be published. So, yeah. if you want... So if you need to publish one, it's very common. That is very common. It's very common. So in the CCS that I published that one, I've been invited, but it, still you get nine months. Nine months. This and was almost didn't get almost didn't get published. Eh? almost didn't get published. Almost. They yeah. almost like rejected me. Mm. Yeah, for some reason. So that one another time lah. Nanti panjang cerita. Yeah, but um. Um, I do believe that your supervisor, each and every one of you, your supervisor will be very happy if you talk, if you tell them, uh, Doctor, I want to come up with a paper. Oosh. That's a happy thing, uh, Dr. Janice, right? If you still say, I want to come up with a paper so that uh, at least we, we try to publish one 
small, small uh, findings on this, perhaps on this. So you can work with your supervisor. Okay, again, because your supervisor's name will be there too, even though it's your work, tetapi um, it's a collaboration. Your supervisor needs to contribute also lah, kan, Dr. Janice? Bukan dia seorang tulis, because students like me last time also, saya seorang pun saya tak tahu macam betul ke tak. So you need your supervisors too. Any more question? Thank you, Zulhairi, Mr. Zulhairi or um, uh, Cyril. Yeah, I hope that today's session will be beneficial to you and everyone, and also to siapa namanya students to uh for all postgraduate students. So yeah, it's hard to start, but no matter what, you need to start from now. Yeah, start from now. I hope it's clear on the requirement needed. Uh, last last uh uh before we take photo, maybe we can take photo first, Dr. Janice. Yeah, sure. Sure, okay, can we take photo? Wan Eli ada? Iya, yeah, mungkin mau suruh dorang buka kamera kali kan? Okay, maybe we can switch on your camera. Yeah. Anyone of you is writing a paper for publication purposes? Not now lah, writing maybe um, in the midst, in the pro process of writing, anyone? They will tell you they are focusing in listening to me, so they are not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Just joking. Okay, any, any more? Dr. Rudy is also here. This one. Okay, boleh. Boleh. Okay, smile. Want to smile. Okay, want to smile. Okay, freestyle. Want to, want to smile. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Please stay safe. Thank you, Dr. Janice. Congratulations again. Okay, keluar dalam Facebook UMS today. Huh? On the Sekalung Tahnia, Prof. Have you huh? seen that? No. Yeah, look at that. Baru ni, Oh, there oh. you go. Congratulations to Professor Madia, Dr. Janice. God blessing, God blessing. Tinggi-tinggi tahniah, uh, DYMM Permaisuri Agung telah memperkenankan mengurniakan anugerah Asia Pacific Leadership Award for Commissioners for Dr. Janice. Yeah? yeah. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. You deserve it, Doctor. Okay. We do our best for the country exactly. and the world. Okay, stay safe, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for the kind opportunity. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, if anything offending. No lah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Take care, everyone.